Imagine a scene straight out of the intense sci-fi thriller The Expanse, where the vastness of space intersects dramatically with life on Earth. While the series portrays interplanetary tensions and cosmic phenomena, today's reality presents a different kind of celestial intrusion. On December 30th, 2024, a colossal piece of space debris made an unplanned descent, crashing into Mukuku Village in Kenya's Makweni County. This dramatic event not only shattered the calm of daily life, but also spotlighted a growing global concern, the escalating menace of space junk. As humanity's reach into space continues to expand, the debris we leave behind poses unprecedented risks to communities on the ground. In this video, we delve deep into the harrowing details of the Mukuku incident, exploring its origins, the science behind space debris, the international implications, and the urgent measures needed to prevent such disasters. Join us as we uncover how 1,000 pounds of space debris became a devastating force, ultimately destroying a Kenyan village. The Mukuku Incident, A Closer Look on the afternoon of December 30, 2024, the peaceful Mukuku village in Makweni County, Kenya, was abruptly disrupted by an extraordinary event that would forever change the lives of its residents. At approximately 3 p.m. local time, an enormous metallic ring, measuring about 8 feet in diameter and weighing roughly 1,100 pounds, plummeted from the sky, crashing into the heart of the village. The object, later identified by the Kenya Space Agency as a separation ring from a rocket, generated a thunderous noise reminiscent of a fierce storm audible up to 200 kilometers away. Upon impact, the debris was reported to be red hot, indicative of the intense heat generated during its uncontrolled re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The immediate aftermath was chaotic. Local police swiftly secured the crash site to ensure the safety of residents and prevent further harm. The KSA, in collaboration with other governmental bodies and local officials, retrieved the debris for a comprehensive investigation. Preliminary assessments suggested that while separation rings are typically designed to disintegrate upon re-entry or land in uninhabited regions like oceans, the sheer size and weight of this particular debris posed significant risks to nearby residents, livestock, and property. This incident underscored the potential dangers of space debris, especially when large components fail to follow their intended re-entry paths. Understanding Space Debris, Origins and Composition Space debris, often referred to as space junk, comprises defunct satellites, spent rocket stages, fragments from disintegration, erosion or collisions, and other man-made objects orbiting Earth. As humanity's presence in space grows, so does the accumulation of these non-functional objects, particularly in low Earth orbit, which ranges from 100 to 1,200 miles above the planet's surface. According to NASA, there are currently close to 6,000 tons of materials orbiting Earth, a number that continues to rise with the advent of private space enterprises and increased satellite launches. The sources of space debris are varied. Every rocket launch leaves behind spent stages and discarded equipment. Satellites, once their operational life ends, often become silent sentinels orbiting our planet. Collisions between space objects can generate thousands of smaller fragments, exponentially increasing the amount of debris. Additionally, intentional destruction events such as anti-satellite tests have significantly contributed to the debris problem. The Mukuku incident involving a separation ring is a stark reminder of how even seemingly minor components can have far-reaching consequences when they fail to behave as intended. The Kessler Syndrome, a growing threat. The Mukuku crash brings to the forefront the concept of the Kessler Syndrome, a hypothetical scenario proposed by NASA scientist Donald J. Kessler in 1978. The syndrome predicts that beyond a certain density of space debris, the likelihood of collisions increases exponentially. Each collision generates more debris, which in turn raises the probability of further impacts. Dr. Vishnu Reddy, a professor of planetary sciences at the University of Arizona, warns the number of objects in space that we have launched in the last four years has increased exponentially. So we are heading towards the situation that we are always dreading. The rapid increase in space activities, driven by both governmental and private entities, has accelerated the accumulation of debris, making the Kessler syndrome a tangible threat rather than just a theoretical concern. The implications of the Kessler syndrome are profound. 
It threatens the sustainability of space operations, endangering satellites that provide essential services such as communication, navigation, weather forecasting, and Earth observation. Moreover, it poses significant risks to human spaceflight missions, including those to the International Space Station and future endeavors to the Moon and Mars. The Mukuku incident serves as a grim illustration of the real-world consequences that space debris can have on our planet. Global Incidents – A Pattern of Falling Debris The crash in Mukuku is not an isolated incident, but part of a troubling pattern of space debris impacting Earth. In 2022, a fragment of a SpaceX Dragon capsule descended upon an Australian sheep farm, causing minimal but notable disruption. Earlier this year, a cylindrical object associated with NASA tore through the home of Alejandro Otero in Naples, Florida, damaging property, but fortunately resulting in no casualties. China has also faced scrutiny over its space activities, particularly regarding the uncontrolled re-entry of components from its Long March rockets. The European Space Agency reported in February that a satellite weighing as much as an adult male rhinoceros made an uncontrolled return to Earth, re-entering the atmosphere over the North Pacific Ocean between Alaska and Hawaii. These incidents underscore the global nature of the space debris problem, transcending national boundaries and impacting communities worldwide. The frequency and scale of these events highlight the urgent need for comprehensive strategies to manage space debris. As more nations and private companies venture into space, the potential for similar incidents increases, making it imperative to address the root causes and implement effective mitigation measures. International Space Law and Accountability In the wake of these incidents, international space law plays a crucial role in governing the responsibilities of nations and private entities involved in space activities. The United Nations Outer Space Treaty of 1967 outlines the framework for international cooperation in space and holds countries accountable for damage caused by their space objects. According to the treaty, the launching state retains jurisdiction and control over its space objects and it is liable for any damage caused by those objects on the Earth's surface or to other space objects. In the case of the Mukuku crash, Kenyan authorities indicated that the incident would be investigated under these international legal frameworks to identify the debris origin and hold the responsible party accountable. The KSA's proactive approach in securing the crash site, retrieving the debris, and collaborating with international bodies highlights the importance of accountability in mitigating the risks associated with space debris. By analyzing the debris and identifying its source, authorities aim to enforce regulations that prevent future occurrences and ensure that those contributing to space clutter adhere to responsible practices. However, enforcing these laws presents challenges. Determining the exact origin of debris can be complex, especially when multiple parties are involved in space activities. Additionally, as private companies become more prominent players in space exploration, the legal frameworks need to evolve to address their roles and responsibilities effectively. Strengthening international cooperation and developing more precise tracking and attribution technologies are essential steps toward ensuring accountability and enhancing global space safety. Technological Solutions and Mitigation Strategies Addressing the burgeoning issue of space debris requires a multifaceted approach involving international cooperation, technological innovation, and stringent regulatory measures. Space agencies and private companies must prioritize debris mitigation strategies in their mission planning and satellite designs. Techniques such as active debris removal, where robotic arms or nets are used to capture and deorbit defunct satellites, are being explored to reduce the existing clutter. One promising approach is the development of space tugs, spacecraft designed to attach to defunct satellites or debris and guide them into safer orbits or towards controlled re-entry paths where they can burn up upon re-entry. Additionally, advancements in material science and propulsion technologies can enhance the ability of satellites to maneuver and avoid potential collisions. Implementing strict end-of-life protocols for satellites is essential in preventing future incidents like the one in Mukuku. Moreover, the use of lasers and other directed energy systems to nudge debris into lower orbits for quicker atmospheric burnup is being researched. International collaborations, such as the Clean Space Initiatives, led by the European Space Agency, are at the forefront of developing and testing these technologies. 
These efforts must be complemented by robust tracking systems that can monitor debris with greater accuracy, enabling timely interventions to prevent collisions. Public Awareness and Global Cooperation Public awareness and education about the implications of space debris are also vital. As space becomes more accessible, fostering a culture of responsibility among spacefaring nations and private entities can contribute significantly to mitigating the risks. Collaborative international efforts such as sharing tracking data and coordinating debris removal initiatives are imperative in managing the space environment sustainably. Governments, space agencies, and educational institutions need to engage in outreach programs to inform the public and stakeholders about the challenges posed by space debris and the importance of collective action in addressing them. Furthermore, establishing global standards and best practices for space operations can harmonize efforts to reduce debris generation. Initiatives like the Interagency Space Debris Coordination Committee play a crucial role in facilitating international dialogue and cooperation. By working together, the global community can develop comprehensive strategies that balance the benefits of space exploration with the imperative to preserve the space environment for future generations. Economic and Environmental Impacts The economic ramifications of space debris are substantial. The potential loss or damage to satellites can disrupt essential services such as telecommunications, navigation, and weather forecasting, leading to significant financial losses. The cost of replacing damaged satellites and implementing debris mitigation measures adds to the economic burden on governments and private companies alike. Environmental impacts extend beyond the immediate destruction caused by falling debris. The re-entry of large objects can release hazardous materials into the atmosphere, posing risks to both human health and the environment. Additionally, the accumulation of debris in space contributes to the long-term sustainability of Earth's orbital environment, affecting future space missions and the viability of space-based industries. Ensuring a Sustainable Space Future The Mukuku incident serves as a critical wake-up call for the international community to take decisive action in managing space debris. Ensuring a sustainable space future requires a balanced approach that harmonizes the benefits of space exploration with the urgent need to protect our planet and its inhabitants from the growing hazards of space clutter. Strengthening international regulations is essential, involving the enhancement of existing space treaties and the development of new agreements that address the complexities of modern space activities, including the increasing role of private companies. Additionally, significant investments in debris mitigation technologies are necessary to develop and deploy innovative solutions for debris removal and prevention, such as space tugs, robotic arms, and advanced propulsion systems. Enhancing tracking and monitoring systems will improve the accuracy and coverage of space debris detection, enabling timely interventions and collision avoidance. Promoting global cooperation is equally important as it facilitates collaboration between nations, space agencies, and private entities to share resources, knowledge, and technologies in the fight against space debris. By adopting these strategies, the global community can effectively mitigate the risks posed by space debris safeguarding both our celestial endeavors and the communities on Earth from the unintended consequences of space activities. Now it's time to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the increasing threat of space debris and its impact on communities around the world? Share your opinions and experiences in the comments section below.